It's Nikki DeRoost, artist in residence for Bobbi Brown. This is my Tanya Taylor inspired look from this past New York Fashion Week. So keep watching to get the full breakdown on how to get this look. Here is the official face chart from backstage with Tanya Taylor. So this was keyed by one of my favorite makeup artists, Cass Garcia, and it was such a beautiful look. So I actually wanna show you, I have it here on my phone, if you can see. This was the look from the show. So it was very clean and there were pops of color on the eyelid for the little eyeliner and it was just like a little bit of a pop, gorgeous skin and really just all around beautiful. So now what do we do with that? I'm gonna show you how to take it from the runway to real life. So we're going to start with skin. Um, I've already prepped my skin. The hydrating eye cream was a big tool used for prep for the look and also my beloved vitamin enriched face base. So I basically prep with this all the time before my foundation. So I do feel like the skin was a little bit more undone and not quite as polished as some of the other backstage shows that I saw. So the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, which is my favorite foundation, I am going to use, but I'm going to show you a little trick. So I'm wearing the shade beige and what I'm going to do is actually mix my extra bare glow in with my foundation. So about equal parts, I would say, and I can kind of just mix it with my finger. So this will kind of lighten the foundation a little bit and give it a little bit more glow. I'd say this kind of shifts it a little bit more into a tinted moisturizer. So I'm actually, because the formula is now a little bit lighter and easier to dispense around the skin. I'm going to apply first, just kind of with my fingers, and I'm placing it in the center parts of my face because that's generally where you want to focus your coverage. And then I will take my trusty full coverage face brush and just start pushing that product into my skin and making sure that it's all blended. And this will give a nice sheer coverage with a lot of glow. I love this look, especially for days where you want coverage but not quite as much maybe as you would at night. I think it's the perfect combo. So because we went a little lighter with our foundation today, I'm now taking my concealer and this is called the Instant Full Cover Concealer. I'm also wearing shade beige and I'm just spot treating any areas that I feel like I do want a little bit more coverage, which is usually underneath the eye, but just a little bit right underneath and just kind of tapping that in the inner corner. I love this brush for concealing. It's called Full Coverage Touch Up. And notice that I'm kind of pressing more than I am swiping. So that just kind of mimics what your fingers would do. And it really warms up the product to give you the coverage, um, but it still looks really natural. Okay, just to finish skin, I am going to take down a little bit of the shine just in the center of my face. So I'm using the Sheer Finish Press Powder. This is pale yellow, and then I'm using the Face Blender Brush. And just kind of right, you want some shine, but not too much shine, and it will make all the natural highlights stand out if you bring down some of the areas in the T-zone. So there was some major glow that was happening. So I'm going to take the Sunset Glow. And again, I have the Face Blender brush. I'm just swirling this around. And I'm going to kind of combine this as a little bit of blush and also highlight. So I'm kind of in between my cheekbones, but also the apples of my cheek, just kind of riding right in between there. So it will give really nice subtle glow. Um, Cass didn't do a major cheek for the show, but this is runway to real life and I do like to go around town with a little bit of blush on my cheeks. So I'm going to take my favorite pot rouge. This is powder pink. I think it's kind of the perfect kind of not too much color blush. It's really natural. And I'm just taking my original brush that I used for foundation because it kind of combines the two products together and I'm just giving a little bit more color just right onto the apples of my cheeks and then blending it into where I just did the highlight. Since we're being inspired by the runway but taking it into real life, we may not want to 
put a hot pink or orange or bright purple liner on our lids for day and if you do that's amazing too go for it but a way to make it a little bit more wearable are taking jewel tones that are not your typical black or brown so this is an ivy color we could also go more with a violet purple um, liner or we can go with eyeshadows so I've got some options here this is a really nice shade this is called liquid mercury and then I have another one called high octane so I'm pretty inspired by the purple look I think it's really pretty and it's a way to kind of segue into a little bit of color it's beautiful for fall um, so I'm gonna go with that What I'm going to do is have my little ultra fine eyeliner brush handy so that when I'm doing my eyeliner with this I can kind of perfect everything with the brush so the liner was really focused kind of from the center of the eye outward and it flicked out just a little bit like a cat eye so that's kind of where we're going to focus our product and it's also why I like to keep the brush close because then you don't have to stress as much about this part of the application. So I'm kind of creating my shape, then I've got my brush here, and I can kind of soften all the edges. And every eye shape is different. I typically like to look just straight ahead in a mirror with my eye open, because then you can kind of see where you want the end of your cat eye to go. So now that I've got my eyeliner situated, I'm going to take that high octane shade and my same brush and I'm just going to give it a little bit more of that purple enhancement to go over the top. So I kind of made my base with my liner and then you could really play with any eyeshadow over the top, but I think it's easier to put your eyeliner down first. And now I'm just picking up a little bit more of that purple pigment which is so pretty I love it and I love the idea of kind of just doing the outer half of the eye I typically don't wear a lot of eyeliner looks but I feel like for me this is something that's really wearable and it's definitely inspired me to kind of change up my look a little bit as well put two coats of the smoky eye mascara top and bottom but just to mimic the shape that Cass did with the eyeliner I really focus a lot of the heavier coats of the mascara out on the outer edge same with the bottom just to kind of bring that shape outward and upward which I think is kind of a fun way to play with your mascara application so just to quickly finish the look there was definitely a nice um, brushed up full brow um, so I am going to fill in just a couple spots of my brow um, this is the perfectly defined long wear brow pencil and I love it because it's got a nice pointed edge it's quite firm too so you can really mimic hair and the the key to filling in your eyebrows is you actually don't need to fill in every single area you kind of want to just look and see where you actually need the product and that's something I think you know sometimes we go through autopilot and we just do the same thing and not really pay attention to what we're doing but only place the product where you need it and then I'm going to take the clear brow gel and just give them a really nice texture. So since all the emphasis is on the eye, we're going to do just a really simple lip. This is one of my favorite pencils. This is Ballet Pink. So I like to use this to cheat my lips fuller. So I'm going to draw out the lines ever so slightly. Start there. Kind of blend with your fingers then fill in a little bit and then these are my favorite lip products so this is the extra lip tint and this is shade bare nude so it's just a really natural nude lip gives a lot of moisture and a lot of shine completes the look i love the inspiration i love getting inspired from the runway because it really kind of gives you a new look at makeup and it shakes up your routine. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure if you're not already subscribed that you subscribe so you can catch all of our amazing videos. And until next time, I'll see you soon.